Well, imagine for a moment, one day your child is a college athlete competing at the top of her game. The next, a battle with COVID lands her in the hospital with a close call with death. And at first, no one seems to know why. Well, now this family has a warning for others to dig deeper and learn what may be lurking inside you to take your breath away. Alicia Roberts is a powerhouse on the volleyball court. She suffers with asthma, but when that mixed with COVID, her breathing became a real struggle. Again? It was really scary, but at the same time, we didn't really know what was going on. And after a two week quarantine, she felt fine. But nine months later, in December, she had severe shortness of breath. Doctors in the emergency room gave her steroids and an inhaler. After that, I was like, I can't even walk up the stairs. I can't even walk my dog for five minutes. Something is not right. She went back to the ER and her mother insisted they run every test available. We were called and said that we had one hour to get over to the main hospital in Beaumont. They were going to do emergency surgery immediately. Wow. Yeah. Was it that dire? Yes. Doctors told Alicia's parents she had a pulmonary embolism. A blood clot on her lungs and also on her main valve of her heart. Dr. Terry Bowers is the director of vascular medicine at Beaumont Royal Oak and founder of the Pulmonary Embolism Response Team. They handle emergency cases. When people die of PE, they're not dying of clot in their lungs, they're dying of the right heart failing because of the clot. Every year, doctors at Royal Oak Beaumont treat about 700 patients with PE. And if you count the entire health system, that number jumps to 2,500. The majority, 70%, are low risk. The other 30% are at risk of heart failure. The right heart, once it starts to fail, is very unpredictable. And once this spiral occurs, then people die suddenly. Dr. Bauer says there is a link to COVID. Alicia was a healthy college athlete before the virus, but it took a special test called a D-dimer test and a CT scan to uncover the clots. Did they tell you what might have happened had you not made it to the emergency room for this emergency operation on time? Yes, they told us it could have been fatal. She could have literally picked up a gallon of milk and went into cardiac arrest. The clot had already you know, lodged in both lungs. It was quite extensive. Doctors often use blood thinners to get rid of clots, but for Alicia, they tried a new strategy developed two years ago. We put a large catheter into the vein. We track it up through the right heart into the pulmonary arteries, and then we're able to aspirate using a 60 cc syringe and pull clot out. Tell me, what did that feel like? It was literally a fresh breath of air. Like I couldn't even breathe before then without having some kind of pain. Doctors will watch her closely for another six months and then reassess. Unless she develops a new clot, she's fine. She'll be playing volleyball again. That could have been easily missed. Now with COVID, there has been a major spike in PE cases like Alicia's. One in 10 people will have a potentially life-threatening clot. So it's very important the public be aware of the warning signs, including difficulty breathing and chest pains when breathing in deep and swelling of your legs. So pay attention and go to the doctor if you have any of those warning signs.